The Giants are celebrating the 2010 World Series this season, and they didn't invite Aubrey Huff. Oh, boo-hoo. Hey guys, it's Josh, and I know it all coming to today to talk about the Giants' decision to not include Aubrey Huff in their World Series celebration from 2010. Uh, before we do that, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit like down below. It does help out to get my videos out to other baseball fans so they're able to see them and be a part of the group and part of the discussions that we have. So, I uh, guess let's jump right into this. Aubrey Huff, uh, if you don't have Twitter, has made, in the past, a number a lot of tweets that were horrible. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. They were atrocious, they were gross, they were disgusting, disturbing, um, and he did that. And because of that, the Giants have decided that they are not inviting him to be a part of the 2010 World Series celebration this year. It's 10 years uh, since that they won, and they're not gonna invite him. And I agree with that. I think that's a good decision. And I know a lot of people are out here saying, well, it's because of his political beliefs. But let me get something very clear. I am obviously a white male and I am very conservative. I have a conservative background. I tend to vote conservative uh, for most things. I have a business background. So I, you know, I even have a family that my family hunts. I have family that's in law enforcement. Um, so I have a, a very conservative gun, pro-gun type mentality because that's the way I was raised and the way I, I believe. And this isn't about politics. This is about him saying things that were horrendous and the Giants distancing themselves from that. And I agree with them. I think they're making the right decision. I know they're making the right decision. And let's just be flat out. And it's not political. It's not political. If I were in charge of the Giants, I would distance myself from him for a lot of reasons. I mean, a lot of reasons. But that's just something they have to do. You cannot have an individual like that, especially an individual who has come in or on Twitter publicly demeaned and bashed a member of your coaching staff. You cannot bring someone in who does that, especially when the reason he did it was simply because she was a female coach. Not because she doesn't know the game or doesn't know how to teach or how to coach, but simply because she was female. That's the reason why he bashed her. And you can't do that. You cannot bring someone in who's bashing one of your coaches and give them a platform. That's bad for your team, bad for your organization. It's a bad PR move all the way around. You can't invite him, you can't have him around. And I'll tell you guys, I actually got to meet Aubrey Huff in 2011. So the year after they won the first World Series, I got a press pass. I was actually in their clubhouse at spring training, uh, talking to guys about you know things that they're preparing to try and make a repeat run you know at the uh at, at the playoffs in the world series and i will tell you <laughs> he was I, I don't know if you could say mentally unstable even then that's that's the way i would describe him the way he treated uh the reporters the way he treated other players just the way he acted in that clubhouse he was unlike any other and not in a positive way all the other guys were you know respectful they were talking they were great guys to be around I, I really actually enjoyed a number of the guys uh, in that clubhouse I got a chance to talk with but Aubrey Huff not a chance it was it, honestly I got done with my interviews and I just I, I left because I couldn't stand being around him could not stand being around him as an individual because of the things he was doing and saying and how he was treating people so so this doesn't come as a surprise to me that he's being banned and just from the, or not, I shouldn't say banned, he's not invited to continue on. So, you know what, I, I, I think the Giants made the right decision. I really do. They, they're they trying to protect themselves and that's what you have to do. When you run a business, you have to protect yourself and keep yourself profitable without negative attention as much as possible. So just my two cents guys, once again, this isn't political. I mean, obviously I told you guys my background. It's not a political decision. It is a smart business decision. That's what they have to do. So guys, I'm Josh. I'm the 980 Know-It-All. Thanks for listening to my video. 
and check out later on. I got some great interviews coming up from some local athletes. Going to be a lot of fun. So you guys talk to you later and have fun.